Well, now it's time for Talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQM studios this morning. Good Wednesday morning, Joe. I got the date right finally because I got that completely wrong earlier. But hey, there we're talking go. about the we're talking right. about the Dolphins this morning. Uh, Tony Lippett spoke to the media yesterday, and you know we talked about how he's getting back into the grind. We know that he tore his Achilles last year during practice, out of all <laughs> all things. But you know, talk about what what do you expect from him? Do you expect him to get right back into it and jump back into the great season that he had coming off 2016? Well, I think Achilles is a slow one to come back with, not f just physically, but mentally knowing you can make a cut and that it won't pop again. So I really am curious to see if he can get back to the way he played a couple years ago. I still think Tanker Slee's out there. I, I think it's going to be a fun competition to see who ends up winning for that uh, second starting position on the other side of Xavier Howard. Uh, he's got experience, obviously, from playing a lot of football the year before the injury. Yeah, that'll be a fun one to watch. And by the way, a very important position and uh, to see how those guys play. Uh, I think he can come back, though, the Achilles. I talked to him last week. He felt like he was all, uh, almost all the way back. He's a big athletic guy. He's a former wide receiver. Makes a lot of plays. Just got to get in position. Got to get his confidence back and not worry that he might hurt it again. Yeah, a lot of it is due to that mental side of it. Well, speaking about uh, NBA, we're talking about game three tonight. It's going to Cleveland. Joe, can the Cavs protect home court advantage because we know the Warriors are leading the series. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Bianca, this one you've been waiting for. LeBron mm -hmm. James has got him motivated. He's going back home. That crowd's going to be crazy. He's finally going to get a little support from his buddies. I think they win tonight. I think they take game three tonight. I think LeBron leads it, comes out early. He's very aggressive, scores early and often. Uh, and, of course, once again, he'll be the story only this time in a win without any mental mistakes or missed free throws late from his guys. I think they pull away in the fourth quarter in this one. How's that? More importantly, Joe, is LeBron going to be wearing the short suit you think? this time? The short suit. I, yeah. I hope not. Uh, <laughs> I got to tell you, not a big fan. I know those guys are in great shape, and they got some wild stuff. Not a fan of that cutting the pants off thing. Wear your damn pants down by your shoes, man. It looks better. And those uh, and those suits are expensive. I found out those suits are expensive. Yeah, it's not I wear cheap. that. They're, like, ripping me. Like, look at the old guy wearing that. Oh, that looks terrible on him. Joe, I feel like yeah, you can totally pull it off I'm not a big fan. What did you think? To. I think you can pull it off. Bianca, did you like that? Bianca, did you like that suit? Be honest. You're young and cool. What what, what do you think? Do you I'm like the go look ahead or not? And say I'm gonna pass on that. Get a regular suit. You can't pass. You gotta have an opinion. People <laughs> no, waiting for you to no. have an opinion this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and say that is a okay. no. That is no for me. Stick with a regular suit, Joe. But we're all never the time. gonna be cool. No, I don't think so. Never but, gonna uh, be cool to me. We'll talk no. more sports fashion and more sports in the next. All hour, right. <laughs> Bye, Stay Joe. away. I don't want you getting any text messages or or somebody <laughs> going to your Twitter account all upset at you. That's a good answer. Goodbye. <laughs>